Yeah, hi, this is Backwoods Billy coming at you from the beautiful Arctic Del Marva Eastern Shore. Um, we've had some really wild weather. Two weeks ago it was in the 70s, beautiful. Uh, last week we were in the teens. Um, today we woke up with uh, five inches of snow and it went to a little over six. And now we have rain uh, mixed with snow, which is going to uh, be in the 60s tomorrow, supposedly. So some screwed up weather. So I'm going to talk to you about a beer that a lot of these beers are coming back, like Lone Star, Ballantyne, that were at one point um, local brew beers are trying to bring us craft beers. This is a, a National Bohemian beer, which is Bohemian Style Pilsner, um, which Pilsners, uh, Bohemian Style Pilsners have a very uh, rich, malty flavor and a nice floral aroma from the hops. Uh, very easy drinking beers. Alcohol is typically like 4.0. 4.5, somewhere in that category, and the IBU should be like 35, 35.4, um, somewhere in that kind of category, say about 35, 30, 35 IBU, 30, 30, 30, 35 IBU. Um, not listed on the can. It was originally brewed in 1885. Um, Natty Bow was an iconic logo in Baltimore. Um, Gunther was another beer that was big, which was gobbled up by Schaefer at one point. Schaefer was number one uh, beer in the nation, and funny thing is, National Bohemian was number two, which is an amazing feat considering it had a very limited distributed area of Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, and parts of New Jersey. That was it. And so that beer was number two in the nation. Um, I like the beer. It's You can buy a 30-pack of cans um, for anywhere between uh, $14 to $17 from where you buy them at. So it's economical beer. It's a very easy drinking beer. Um, very smooth. And... I'll tell you one of the things I really like about Natty Bell, I'll get into it in a minute. As you can see here, it develops a very nice head, um, clear golden color. Nice floral aroma, slight, slight biscuit smell from the malt. Sweet, smooth. Very little uh, light hops um, at all. And the salt hops, because it, it's um, unique, like I said, floral, floral character to it, the nice aroma. Uh, Chuck Thompson from the Orioles just always, he did the, uh, a lot of the logos for Natty Bow. Oh boy, what a beer. Would always be things that were the sponsors. And now they're back along with Miller and Budweiser because at one point the city was sponsored by no one. Uh, it had a memorial for the soldiers that had fallen in World War II. And now the new one has had Pissnet and now a bunch of sponsors. But that aside, it's a good drinking beer. It's no longer brewed in Baltimore, it's brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, so anybody wants to buy available everywhere. I've seen it in several states. Um, it's a good, smooth, easy drinking beer, and this pairs well with pizza, hot dogs, broth, whatever you want to do with it, there's not really a limit to it. And the funny thing is Flying Dog had a very successful release a couple years back, we like two years ago or three years ago, called Dead Rise. Uh, Dead Rise was an Old Bay spice beer, and I've heard reviews that it has salt, it does not have any salt in it. Um, they actually work with uh, McCormick, which owns Old Bay, in developing the um, beer. And it's uh, just slightly spicy, uh, the Old Bay beer is. Uh, very nice. But anyway, that original, that idea came, I remember it being around. I had uh, Natty Bowers in the, in the uh, late 60s as a young boy, just a sip, the first beer I ever had. Um, that aside, they used to have a thing on their um, containers and their bottles would tell you to, to basically take a little Old Bay and rim the glass with it. When you're eating crabs, crabs are big in Baltimore, and uh, I want to kind of get this in fast because it's raining here. But um, it's kind of funny how now that's a big deal. Uh, Natty Bell originally went from Baltimore to Hellthorpe, which is uh, now uh, Heavy Seas purchased that building, which is a big craft brewery that does a lot of bottle aged beers, and they're in it. Uh, and the other one is now a luxury complex in the city uh, for your yuppies. Um, I guess that's a very good beer. The, the glass I chose from this is a Pilsner style glass. There's a couple different classes that are Pilsner. Works very well with it. Like I said, a very easy drinking beer. And remember, craft beer will be cherished, rules be damned. Um, this is not a craft beer. Very easy drinking, very economical. Um, thanks for your time. You have a great day. And if you do me a favor and forward this, I appreciate it very much. Take care.